Hey guys, Ariano Gomez, the Dynamics GP Blobster here. Welcome to my final installments on UI Flow with uh, Microsoft Dynamics GP, Power Automate, and now I'm gonna add yet another layer to this, which is AI Builder. We're gonna take an AI Builder form processing control and basically have our application, uh, Power Apps application, read that form and pass it on to Microsoft Dynamics GP using Power Automate UI flows. So this will show you another way yet to get data into legacy systems that um, you're probably struggling with at this point. So let's see how it's done. Okay, so here we have our AI Builder app that we created, very simple application as you can see. All it does is it has a form processing control on it and what it will do is it will extract some fields from our utility bill and move those to Microsoft Dynamics GP here in the background using UI flows. And let's see how that works. So now I'm choosing my bill and if I select open here, that will then proceed to deconstruct the fields from that particular layout. And then all I'm gonna do here is tag the vendor number. and click submit here. And once I submit this, then our UI flow should take over and get that particular bill recorded in our application. So now we should be able to see all the different fields entered and our document saved. And that basically concludes that part of the application. So let's see now how we actually got to the point of building this app and leveraging UI flows, AI builder to get a complete solution. Okay, so to get started, all I wanna do is recap on the architecture of this solution. So initially we have a solution and this solution can be created uh, for your environment. And in particular, we have a Power Apps application that takes advantage of AI Builder. So we actually using the form processing model to read the utility build that we saw in the previous segment and uh, extract the fields from there. In addition, once this bill is submitted, this utility bill is submitted to Power Automate. Power Automate then basically using the Power Ups trigger extracts some of those fields. I tend to use variables for making things clear and bringing some clarity to my flows in general. And basically these variables are nothing more than containers of the parameters that were submitted via uh, the Power Apps application. That uh, flow in turn calls a UI flow and that UI flow you can uh, basically see from my previous videos will then through the data gateway uh, execute the routine of entering that payable transaction into Microsoft Dynamics GP, which is our ERP system. That basically is a general review of what we did. So let's take a look at some of the individual components from that solution. We're gonna go here. And then what I wanna do is I wanna show you that in particular, we, so we built a solution or we created a solution where we have lodged both the flow and the canvas app that we created. Now, what I did in particular for this edition or this segment was I created the solution first, then I actually built both the flow and the canvas app within that solution. So I don't know that it's possible to just add an existing flow or an existing canvas app to the solution, uh, for it to work, I think they have to build fr be built from scratch within the solution in order for everything to tie together. Now, keep in mind that you can build your model, train your model, and build your UI flow and test your UI flow separately. But once you actually have those things in place, you will then want to create your flow and your Power Apps app separately within that solution. So um, as you can see here, I have the, uh, power, the Power Automate flow 
inside the solution and I have the canvas app inside that solution. So simply once the canvas app is in place or once I actually create the canvas app, all I'm doing here is I am calling the um, model that um, I'm using for building the form processing. And you can take a look at my, uh, I'm going to link this back to a few videos back that I created for uh, form processing. And uh, it will show you in detail how this app was built. But uh, suffice to say that all it has is a control. And this is a form processing control that is tied to that sewer utility model that I previously created. And all I'm doing here is I'm using the form processor uh, or the control name that the form content that fields that the field that I selected to pass it into this text control. So once you submit this, all I'm doing here now is I'm running the UI flow. Interestingly enough, one of the things that I saw is perhaps I had saved my flow originally with the name, uh, with the long name that it creates based on the name of the uh, trigger and the actions that are in there and the different variables that I created. And I couldn't get this to be replaced for the actual name that you saw in the um, initial setup that I did. So that might be a bug. I don't know, but you know, within a solution, uh, you might want to save your flows with the right name before you start adding actions to them so they can get this nice readable name. Otherwise you'll end up with something like this. But anyways, that's besides the point. What I did was actually passed in the batch ID batch number, the vendor ID field, the account number, and the amount. Those are part of the controls that I laid out on the application itself and are being submitted to, to flow through this uh, run action. Okay, so that's simple enough. As you can tell from each one of the controls, there's simply a selection of the field except for the vendor ID field. I like to use hints, by the way, when I'm building my apps. Uh, so those hints will tell the user instead of having a label and a field, uh, I just add the field and I use the hint as to what to type into that specific text box. So just again, a little uh, design element. Maybe you have more preference for, for text fields or labels. But anyways, I just thought I would point that out. The other thing then is my UI flow or my flow itself. So if I click done here and I go back to solutions or AI builder flows, I have my out my flow itself, in this case, automate GP, which I'm going to select. And all you can see is that this flow uses a trigger, a power apps trigger by which I request the different fields that are going to be passed in. So those come as parameters from my power apps application. Um, I've actually done a couple of videos with uh, one with um, Mr. John Levesque, where I um, outline some of my techniques for building flows. One of them is I first name the action, then I add the variable. That way, when I do a as power apps, it inherits the name of the action very nicely without um, you know those really long and complicated names that are being assigned to each one of them. But the gist of this is this calls the uh, UI flow. Now, when you add this action to your design studio, to your flow design studio, what you're going to end up with is perhaps you're going to be asked to authenticate. Keep in mind that the authentication that you're doing here, uh, for example, if I were to add a new connection, you basically are authenticating against the um, computer that you are that is running your UI flow. So keep in mind that the credentials here will be that of the domain username on the machine where um, the application resides, in this case, Microsoft Dynamics GP, uh, the password and credentials for that machine, and you have to specify the gateway. So those are a couple of things to keep in mind. All right, and finally, um, from my previous couple of videos, you saw how I built this UI flow. So I'm not going to actually go back on that. I'm going to set a reference to that video that's going to appear somewhere up on the uh, right hand corner of your screen. And um, 
that's in essence uh, a summary of what I did. So if you have questions about um, how I created this application and how I created the different parts, don't forget to leave your comments below and please, please, please test this out. Make sure it works for you and uh, let's, uh, let's meet in another session. Thank you very much for watching.